Hi everybody, I'm Dominic from AskMeDIY.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a real simple way without getting crazy involved on taping the sheet, the corner of the sheetrock. It's real simple, super easy. You just got to remember, don't try too hard. The harder you try, well, you're gonna, the worst time you're going to have on it. First thing, tape. Okay, this is just uh, tape made for taping sheetrock. It's not any other tape like that. When you're, when you're taping a hole inside a corner, real simple. Make sure you pull out enough. That's going to be that whole length, say uh, eight, eight feet, okay? Just simple tear. Now, if you look at the, the tape itself, it actually has a crease in it for, for those corners, okay? Bend it. Fold it in like that. It folds in real simple, real easy. Okay, and just hold your... I, hold my hand like I just pull make sure it's all nice and even the whole the whole length whatever it's gonna be just like that and there we go we have our full length now I know I cut this too long and that's fine because we're gonna start from the top and we're gonna go down with the tape whatever is excess is of course is gonna be hanging on the floor and you just just tear it off, simple as that. You're better off having too much than too little, then have to put another piece in it again. Just makes things that much more difficult for you. And now, we're gonna put our joint compounds on the wall, just on, on the inside, all right? No more than, you know, two inches wide, no big deal. Then we're gonna put our tape onto that mud, and then we're gonna scrape off uh, the excess and wait for so that dries, I'm gonna put another coat on it. So let me show you how to do that uh, first coat. All right, now once your wall's all clean, make sure there's no nails protruding out or anything like that. You can put your mud on. I like to put it on, you know, sideways, like that. Push in flat, got enough mud on, on this side. Now, we're gonna go and just do the other side. Now you wanna put like a big glob on it, but you do wanna make sure that you have a complete coverage. You don't wanna see that sheetrock coming through, okay? You wanna just make sure. Don't worry about putting way too much on. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna end up taking it back off, okay? Now, you have your corner bead. I'm, I'm sorry, your tape at, for the corner. Just put it on. Make sure that that crease, when you folded it, it goes into the corner, okay? Real nice. I mean, real gentle with your finger. And that's it. You're not pushing it in hard or anything, okay? Now you have your, your taping knife, now it's all full of all, all kinds of smuts, right? Well, clean it, real important. Clean, clean good enough. I mean, we're not gonna eat off of it, it's clean good enough, okay? Again, hold this in the corner. Get to where you can see it. <laughs> hold it in the corner, you know, put some downward pressure. You're just gonna run it against the opposite wall. You're not going to dig it in really hard where you can end up cutting that paper tape, but just like that. And then go right to the other side. Voila! A corner ready for a second coat. Now, of course, I'm not going to, video is not going to be days long, so tomorrow, after it's dry, Put a second coat on it okay but your second coat i'll show you now it's not gonna come out that good because this is wet your second coat now you have different people different uh you know professionals that have been doing it for so long can actually coat both sides at once um but first time just do one at a time and that's a lot of problem i, I see with people that they try to do both at the same time but meanwhile the one side's really wet and when you try to do the other side, you're digging into that. And it's like, wow, it's, it's, I hate it, I can't stand it. Simple, let this, let it dry, then just do, tomorrow, just do the other side. And then the following day, go back and do the side you missed. I mean, you're not in a rush, are you? I hope not. Second coat, same way. Put the mud on, on your knife, and go down. Real simple, real easy. I mean, that looks, okay but i want it to look maybe a little bit better so i'm actually going to go lightly now first time i was putting the joint compound on so i had some pressure on it but this time i just want to clean it up maybe a little bit better so i'm actually going to use less pressure okay again i'm going to just clean that knife 
simple scrape of it and it's clean. You just hold it up there and just go down. Now, one thing when you're doing those, those second coats, well, it's a little bit of a technique. I mean, I try to teach people this in person and some get it, some don't. Well, let's see how you do. You, you have the knife, you hold it against the wall. Where you want the mud to be, a little bit less pressure. Where you don't want it to be, say on this edge right here, I don't want it really thick over there. I'm gonna hold pressure down on that. So it's actually like you're twisting the knife. And I put my finger right on it and I give a little bit of pressure there. And you'll see that and you'll do that. And it's um it's pretty simple, but you know, again, you have to have the technique. Anyway. That's how you do an inside corner, nice and easy, nice and fast, uh, and it looks, I mean, it looks good. I mean, look, that second coat, but I'll tell you what, just that second coat, let that dry, paint it, I bet you don't see anything after that, but I've been doing it for quite a long time. Don't do it every day, but I've been doing it a long time. Anyway, I'm Dominic from AskMeDIY.com. Thanks for watching.